Nissan's first ever electric SUV, the Aria, is coming to the United States this fall, and we're beyond excited and welcome it following its entry into the Japanese and European automobile markets. In today's video, we will reveal everything you need to know about this two-row, five-passenger, high-performance crossover EV. Measuring 183 inches in length, the all-electric Nissan Aria is quite longer than some of the top vehicles in its category. We anticipate that this elegant SUV will compete with the Ford Mustang Mach-E, Tesla Model Y, and any other high-performance luxury SUV that is willing to take on the challenge. But is it good enough to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with these high-end automotive offerings? Keep watching to find out! Exterior From the angular front area to slim LED lights and the fancy-looking grille, it is hard to find a flaw in the exterior design of this Nissan Aria. We cannot help but admire the rear spoiler and sleek power gate tailgate as well, not to mention the sloping roofline, which makes it look like a coupe EV. It comes with 19-inch wheels as standard, but high-end models will come with 20-inch wheels. It wears a wide and sporty stance that makes it even more attractive. In summary, the Nissan Aria looks stunning from every angle. Interior It looks like Nissan has paid extra attention to details in designing the front section of the cabin because it's absolutely top class in terms of styling. This has to be one of the best front seats designed by the Japanese automaker in recent times. Plus, it is painted white as well. It's easy to suggest that it would get stained quickly, but if you ask us, we'd say it's a great color to adopt for your interior design, whether it's your house or your car. That's if you don't mind cleaning and scrubbing every once in a while. We're a bit disappointed with the infotainment screen size that Nissan has adopted for this Aria, as it's a lot smaller than what you'll find in most luxury EVs nowadays, like the Kia EV9 and Fisker Electric Ocean SUV. But at 12.3 inches, it is very much manageable. Plus, it's responsive as well. It supports some high-end features such as Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. The soft touch buttons on the lower dash look odd to us, not like we dislike them, but we can't say that they're our favorite feature. Nissan gave the cabin a retro vibe by including a classic non-button volume control, with the flexible center console and the motorized laptop shelf that can also be used as storage. You get the impression that the Japanese automaker had its sights on the future. Wireless charging, adjustable cup holders, modest storage compartments, and comfortable chairs are also offered in the front section. In the back seat, there is plenty of legroom and adequate headroom. Basic features include USB charging ports, rear climate control, and comfortable armrests. Much like the BMW i4 car we reviewed recently, the Nissan Aria can be opened with a kick movement. But alternatively, you can choose to open the trunk using the power tailgate button. Depending on the variant of the Aria you purchase, you can get either 406 or 466 liters of boot space. It's a long way off from the Tesla Model Y in this area, which has roughly 800 liters of trunk capacity, but it's still a decent amount of trunk space if you ask us. Furthermore, you'll get underfloor storage and the option to partition the entire trunk into different sections, and when you're done, you can shut the boot the same way you opened it by moving your feet underneath it. Obviously, this feature will come in handy if your hands are busy at the moment. Nissan's ProPilot 2.0 semi-autonomous driving system Automated emergency braking on both ends of the vehicle and a 360-degree video system are all standard features on the Nissan Aria. The e-pedal, which has been described as a regenerative braking system on steroids, is available as well. This allows you to drive the car with a single pedal. How does it drive? The Nissan Aria is designed by the same group of engineers that developed the Nissan GTR sports car, and that maybe explains why it's such a swift and refined car to drive. The noise level in this car is just about loud enough to inform other road users that a vehicle is approaching. You get tiny bits of noise from dampers and suspension as well. The suspension is not the best, but it is better than what you'll get from the Ford Mustang Mach-E and Tesla Model Y. The Nissan Aria has three different drive modes, Eco, Standard, and Sport. All can be accessed by pushing a button on the central console. One other thing we love about the Nissan Aria is that it handles pretty well both on the straight and around the corners and it gives off that instantaneous response that you get in battery-powered cars. Overall, we believe that this is one of the most comfortable SUVs around. Before we proceed further, if you've made it this far, make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. Performance 
Like most electric cars, there are two models of the Nissan Aria, the single-motor two-wheel drive model and the dual-motor all-wheel drive variant. The former has a 63 kilowatt hour battery pack and delivers 218 horsepower and 300 newton meters of torque to enable the car to go from 0 to 60 in less than 7.5 seconds. But obviously, the instant torque makes it feel a lot quicker than it is. The top tier model carries an 87 kilowatt hour battery pack and throbs out 239 horsepower. It completes the 0 to 60 course in 7.5 seconds as well. Ordinarily, it should go faster than that, but it's unable to do that due to the heavy battery pack. Both models can be upgraded to carry Nissan's new E-Force four-wheel drive system. This combination is good enough to deliver 278 horsepower in the single motor variant and 306 horsepower in the dual motor model. The 0 to 60 times in these cars is believed to be around 5.9 and 5.7 seconds respectively. And then you have the top of the range model called the Nissan Aria E40 RCE high performance model. This one gives you the luxury of reaching a maximum of 389 horsepower and a typical 0 to 60 course can be completed in 5.1 seconds, beating the Porsche Macan. Additionally, the Nissan Aria features fast charge technology. You could power up your battery from 10 to 80% within 45 minutes using a fast charger. Range and Pricing As expected, the driving range and pricing is determined by the model as well. The entry-level front-wheel drive Nissan Aria sells for $47,125 and has a maximum range of 300 miles. That's 15 miles less than the Tesla Model Y. But unfortunately, it is the best that's the most premium model that will be sold in the United States. And to be fair to Nissan, the entry-level Aria is about $12,000 cheaper than the lower trim Tesla Model Y. And you'll most likely end up paying less because Nissan customers are eligible for a $7,500 federal tax credit from the US government. In contrast, Customers who buy Tesla cannot benefit from this program. Next up is the Aria Evolve Plus FWS, which has a range of 285 miles and costs $54,625. The Premier front-wheel drive has the same driving range and price. The dual-motor all-wheel drive Naria Platinum Plus with E-Force has a starting price of $60,125 and a maximum range of 265 miles. And unlike the Nissan LEAF, which works with CHAD demo port, the Aria will support the CCS charging architecture, which means it can be charged with chargers from other automobile brands, including Tesla, Mercedes, BMW, etc. The Aria is a big upgrade from the more affordable Nissan LEAF hatchback, which has earned consumers' trust. We hate to state the obvious, but the EV SUV category is a crowded space. Nonetheless, if there's any automaker that can give the likes of Tesla, Polestar, Audi, and Ford a run for their money, it's Nissan. What do you think about the Nissan Aria? Where does it rank on your list of the best EV SUVs? Let us know in the comments section. Be sure to check out our other videos over here.